and expand to 10 times, even with a modest estimation. We can also add exposed coastline where aquaculture had not been applied yet. But to do that, we have to have a novel aquaculture infrastructure for severe environment. Another option is land-based aquaculture system, so-called RAS, uh, relatively resistant to natural disasters like typhoon. Uh, and stable growth can be achieved with a uh, stable environment, especially in the indoors rest. Both systems, though, uh, requires a relatively high cost, so production scale large enough to, uh, for sufficient return on machine automation investment is needed. To expand market, uh, we need to do marketing to create new domestic market, or promotion for export. So about our aquaculture's business, um, we have uh, six domestic uh, opera aquaculture dom uh, operations in Japan. And we have four uh, overseas uh, operations. Today, I would like to talk about Krose Suisan with the Japanese Amberjack and Yumigahama Suisan with salmon and uh, direct operation with the white leg shrimp. The first one is the Krose Suisan. Uh, this company is one of the largest farm fin fish producer in Japan. The production is about nine to 10,000 tons per year, and this is more than 10% share of Japanese amberjack. Farming sites are exposed to ocean. Uh, this one is like offshore uh, two to 3.5 kilometers from the coast. But we have rough condition, especially in the typhoon season, like this, oops. So we use submersible sea cages. But by doing that, uh, we have low mortality with good condition. So we have stable production. Um, within the fin fish uh, production, uh, the cereal species I said is about the half. 74% uh, of the cereal species is actually the Japanese amberjack. Uh, many farms were family owned small businesses. But now there is a shift to organize large businesses like us company and also fishery cooperative association gathering all the small farmers together to have uh, a brand. But in this case, um, demand for all year round supply is very strong. Uh, most farms use wild caught fingerlings which are caught in spring. The resource itself is quite uh, stable but because uh, we can only have the fingerlings in the springtime, the harvest rises and falls according to the time of the year. So we have uh, harvest season during um, autumn to winter, but we don't have so much harvest during the summer. But the price rises during the summer, therefore there is a large demand for summer uh, harvest. But the meat quality and the profit falls in the summer due to spawning in the spring. The fish will lose weight after spawning, which means the cost gets high. And fat content uh, after spawning is low, uh, which means low uh, meat quality. So summer harvest is an issue. Um, so this is the same with the Crossy Suisun. Uh, we need to expand, expand market for the summer. And first we th thought about utilization of artificial fingling, not the wild fingling. So we investigated the, the each environment factors like temperature and photo period for gonad maturation uh, by Nisui's R&D sector 
through hormone and gene expression. And we developed highly re reproducible maturation controlling uh, technology and induced spawning in autumn, not spring. By doing that, we have larger fingerlings compared to the wild in spring and larger fish at the second spring, but small enough to prevent spawning and grow to a harvestable, harvestable size after spring, which has good meat quality and high profit. By doing that, we created new market for summer Japanese amberjack. Uh, Crossy Suisan is expanding production as well with a larger sea cage. Conventionally and commonly used sea cages for Japanese amberjack, oops, sorry, um, is that size is like 10 by 10 meters uh, square type, uh, which has a 1,000 cubic meter space. But now it's shifting to 30 meter diameter sea cage, which um, which is quite familiar with the salmonid species in Norway or Chile. So uh, this, type, uh, this is the 30-meter uh, diameter sea cage. Uh, oops, I'm sorry. But expanding this can, uh, by doing that, we can expand production by 1.5 times at the same uh, cage uh, area, which is this. Uh, half of the sea cage are still under the water, but uh, there are 20 small sea cages here originally, but we changed to just three of the large sea cages, which has more space for the fish to swim. By doing that, we have 1.5 times more uh, production in the same area. So, we have to keep an uh, eye on the, uh, the uh, environment. So sampling and evaluation of sediment and water is being done uh, period periodically. For the future, we are looking for long distance feeding system from the land. So this will save the labor and save the cost for the vessel, feeding from the vessel, and uh, yes, We'll probably, probably do that from next year, for the experiment, starting from the experimental stage. Okay. Another uh, uh, example is the Yuminga Hama Suisan with the Koho salmon. This again is one of the largest farm uh, salmon producer in Japan. Production is about 2,400 uh, 2, tons per year and that's about 10% share of the total farmed uh, salmon in Japan. And the farming sites, uh, main, main farm sites is in Sototori, Niigata, and Iwate Prefecture. But we have very rough condition uh, in the west, western side of Japanese arc archipelago because of the northwest gale during the winter. So we have peninsula in Tottori and island in Niigata to prevent the strong wind. But still there are several days with tough waves disrupting boat feeding. So all cages are equipped with an automatic feeder. Uh, a steel company, Nippon Steel Engineering, has uh, uh, provided a platform for the feeding. So we've done a collaboration to make the system. The silo and the feed su uh, supplying system from the platform connected to feeding pipes, which is connected to each feeder. And this can be controlled from the land in the office. Also, each feeder is equipped with a controller called Aqualingal, which controls the feeding according to the fish appetite. So the feeders has this uh, appetite sensor, and we know how hungry 
the fish are, and we can control the feeding by seeing this automatically. Also, the feeders has an uh, underwater camera to see if it's working good. Another collaboration with uh, NEC is the size estimation system using AI. Um, we have to, uh, we use these sterile cameras to, uh, to size the fish, but uh, usually uh, before we install this system, uh, we have to put these points for each fish uh, manually. And this was uh, very hard to do, it takes a long time. But NEC developed an AI uh, system to identify individual fish and recognize each point's to size. So we can send the video to the cloud system of NEC and the uh, NEC will, will deliver the um, result by next morning. By doing that, we can have the mean size, the average size of the sea cage according to each uh, period. Also, the size distribution as well. This is very helpful because even we have the sa same average size, the distribution is diff different. So we can choose uh, which sea cage we should um, harvest first because when we choose this one, which has a wider distribution, we are going to lose some of the fish which are not big enough for the harvest. So it's, uh, the office uh, controlling the uh, system looks like that. And uh, the, uh, the feed controlling system made by Nippon Steel Engineering is now connected to estimation system made by NEC. At the control room, farm site manager can adjust the feeding regime according to the data from the feeder and the appetite sensor, monitor environment data such as temperature, dissolved oxygen, and water current, check and input modified feeding uh, feed delivery plan, also analyze average size and distribution to plan the best harvest order, as I said before, and so on. like this. Next one is the shrimp. Uh, this is uh, done by Nisui uh, ourselves. And this, is, uh, exp this was an experimental stage. Uh, the production is just small, 70 to 100 tons per year. And we introduced SPF brood from, uh, brood stock from Hawaii and they are sent to Kyushu Island. There is a uh, R&D sector in Oita Prefecture, and they do the spawning and the nursery, and the baby prawn will be shipped to the farming site. In March this year, uh, the phase, experimental phase is, up, uh, is, is now on the commercial phase, so the headquarters uh, are operating this um, farm site now. So this is a uh, land-based aquaculture system. Uh, there are several ways of uh, land-based land aquaculture, aquaculture system. Uh, the first one is the flow-through system, uh, which is quite popular in Japan for uh, flounders. Uh, we pump the uh, water directly and discharge directly to the ocean. This one is low cost, but uh, the problem is the environmental load uh, direct, uh, and uh, direct intake from the sea can have high disease risk. And compared to that, uh, recirculating aquaculture system, so-called RAS, uh, can reuse the water, sorry, reuse the water so uh, this one has a low disease risk, but it needs those instruments to be installed. So the cost is relatively high. 
and we need extra land to put those. The bioflock system, uh, which doesn't need water exchange, uh, this has been, as uh, shown before, uh, has been done in US, Korea, and Southeast Asia. Uh, and um, bioflock is an aggregate of microorganisms and organic matter functioning just like the biofilter. So um, it doesn't have to, it, it doesn't have so much instruments. So the cost is relatively low. Of course, the disease loss risk is low, but we have high turbidity and suspended solids uh, caused by the bioflock. So this can be applied for limited species which can stand in such uh, environment. So uh, bioflock system is a high productive system and the bioflock itself uh, looks like that. And um, by using this, we have a domestic shrimp production farm in Japan, which we can produce fresh and high quality sashimi sushi grade. Uh, but we have to think about the energy cost for heating and cost for oxygen and uh, suspending. Uh, we need to mix the water to make the bioflock suspending, so we have to put energy for that too. Another issue is that uh, we need stable supply of uh, SPF seeds, uh, which we, le we rely on Hawaii right now. So, um, in Japan, foods from natural resources had been preferred uh, for a long time. But now, farm fish with stable and good quality are getting higher uh, reputation. Our company wished to support people and families around the world by providing better and healthier foods. So um, I would like to show you a video, a short video of the uh, fingerling production of the uh, yellowtail or the Japanese amberjack. This is the uh, uh, egg just to uh, hatch out. And this is the first time when they eat the artificial diet. It looks like that. And these are the broodstock, like 10, 15 kilograms. And those fish are ready to go out to the sea after being vaccinated. So, thank you for your kind um, attention. <laughs>